Good morning guys, it is day 31 on the Appalachian Trail. Another stage of the journey begins, the second month. I say goodbye to Uncle Johnny's uh, hostel where I had a great night nice sleep last night and a great stay. And last night just planning the next four days was a mission because it's not easily divisible. And today we start with a 17 mile day and then gradually descend down into like a seven mile day at the end. Four days out in the woods. Let's see if the batteries last. So left the hostel this morning at almost eight o'clock in the morning. We're looking at anywhere between eight and nine hours of walking today. I have a full backpack with 28 pounds and that includes uh, food and water. That's according to those sketchy scales that they have at the hostels that don't start at zero, but let's take it as a, as a guide. So it is 46 degrees right now. It's funny how 46 starting to feel like it's warm weather because <laughs> uh, I had to take out a layer already. What does the profile look like today? Well, let's take a look. So what does the profile look like? Well, we're climbing about 3000 uh, feet of elevation right off the bat. That's always what happens when you stay out of town and then you have to get back into the mountains with a full backpack. According to uh, some, uh, uh, what is it called? Slab packers, slab packers. Those are the ones that take a shuttle forward and then they make their way back just with a day pack. They say that the ascent is uh, gradual, not too bad, only with a few scary uh, moments. And uh, I'm staying at a, at a shelter somewhere around here. And I should be getting there between 3 and 5 p.m. This has to be one of the days with the most uh, river crossings on the entire trip. And also check out the forest, you know? Green, green, green machine. It's been a nice gradual ascent uh, so far, but I think the actual climb is, is about to start a little bit further down the line. Look how thick the vegetation is in this area. So just passed by the first uh, shelter of the day. It was too early to have uh, lunch there. So I'm gonna continue on. The climbing has been gradual and at some points it gets steep and then gradual some more. So the first month is now behind me. I did 344 miles. So what about I do 400, 400 miles on the second month? That could be a goal that I should try to achieve. Maybe doing 400 miles in a month is a lot. I don't know, let's find out. I also have to take it easy with all the zeros. I took four zeros on the first month, maybe on the second one, I don't know. Let's try to do three because I have two days there with my family and those are non-negotiable. <laughs> let's continue climbing. It 
it was time to uh, come all up. I got a, a liter of water from a stream because there's nothing for the next uh, few miles. We need to go over the mountain and then on the other side is where there's another uh, stream. Whatever I had left on my smart water bottle, I threw in some uh, electrolytes. Remember those that I couldn't find in France? Well, we got them here. I'll be drinking those as I walk. And I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, motivation. Because this trip, you definitely need motivation. This is such a long undertaking. Six months, I can't even wrap my head around it. What am I trying to get out of this? Well, for one, stamina. <laughs> they say by the time you make it to Katahdin, you have climbed Mount Everest about 17 times, up and down, and I guess it's from sea level. So that's how much elevation gain uh, you're gonna be doing over the next uh, six months, or I'm gonna be doing. And since I do mountaineering, that's just perfect. I wanna go back maybe this year, at the end of the year, to uh, Aconcagua and finally tackle that mountain because I've been there twice already and both times I keep getting closer and closer to the summit. The last time around I was only 200 meters away when a storm uh, caught us by surprise and we had to come back. So yeah, stamina is one thing. Also here, since uh, this is not like a historic walk like the Caminos are where every day there's something new, something amazing to explore here. Eventually when we get into Virginia, we had the Virginia Blues where it's just 500 miles of the same. So that is tough on the mind. So I guess one has to go deep inside, I guess. It's gonna be a challenge for me for sure just to, uh, to try to keep you guys entertained. But well, I'll do my best, you know I will. Let's continue climbing, climbing. It's either climbing or going downhill or getting water or setting up the shelter or using the privy or the cat hole. You guys already know the routine by now. I'm in the green tunnel, by the way. Check this out. No views in any directions other than green leaves. What time is it? It's lunchtime. It's 1 p.m. I'm almost at the top of the mountain, but I decided to stop here by this fire ring and just uh, make myself something uh, for lunch because I'm starving. There's really not much water up here. There's like one stream down below by a parking lot, but it's away from it. So I'm glad that I, you know, that I brought a uh, one liter of water. I'm not gonna cook, I'm just gonna make something really quickly here and I'll leave the cooking for when I get to uh, camp this afternoon. Which uh, is kind of like 7 miles away, so that means that I'm getting there between uh, 4 and 5, maybe 6. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't seen anybody today, I've been on my own. I saw one hiker early in the morning, he passed me. I passed him by when he actually stayed at the shelter to have breakfast. And then I've seen a couple of like day hikers going in the opposite direction. It is Sunday, so I guess this is when the, the day hikers uh, come out to explore the area. So yeah, let's eat. Very 
very nice uh, views from uh, the summit, especially after having a hearty lunch. I had two of those uh, tuna chicken creations with uh, fajitas or pitas, and I also had a slice of summer sausage. Up here, it looks like there was a fire because all the trees are kind of like burnt. Anyways, let's begin the descent. It's still a couple of hills, but mostly we're now descending into the shelter. I can only imagine this place with fog and cloudy. It will be very spooky. Yes, indeed. Boy, was I mistaken. <laughs> I thought I was at the top of the mountain at the summit and it was the first one that was the second climb. That just completely caught me by surprise. Woo, man, what a climb. And I'm not at the top yet. Actually, this is the campground that I was supposed to stay originally when I thought I was gonna do 13 miles. I was supposed to stay here and then continue on. So that means that I still got another four miles to go. I've uh, come across other hikers making their push all the way up here just rocky and uh, just switchbacks and very steep so yeah not staying here i'm gonna continue on to the shelter so let's do it Woo! welcome to the summit of unaka mountain check it out 5184 feet of elevation views none other than this beautiful forest that kind of reminds me so much of the Smoky Mountains. Remember that? Just climbing steadily all the way up to the top. And then look at this forest over here. It's not too bad, you know. Uh, we still got 3.3 miles to our Cherry Gap shelter. It is a nice descent for a while. And then we got a couple of hills before we get there. I'm looking for water, man. I'm running a little bit low. Not too bad little under half a liter but i'm thirsty so yeah let that descend begin <laughs> okay i got even less water now So finally made it to a Sherry Gap shelter after a 17 point something day, very long day. I got here at 4.30 in the afternoon, dry, no water whatsoever. So when I got to the spring, I filled up and jug about a liter of water all at once. Set up my tent very close to the shelter, which is right behind me, and then just already had dinner for the first time. I had some broccoli thrown in. I threw it in there with the uh, with ramen and it's just great. Check out the stats for today, by the way. I'm starting to think that a 17 mile day should be the norm, but I don't want to push my luck either. A bunch of people showed up, so we got tents all over the area, which is great. Socializing here for a little bit. It's already 6.30 and I'm calling it a day because, you know, you walk, you eat, you rest. That's the routine. See you guys tomorrow. Watch her do her little part. She smiles at me when I tell her that she is.